I absolutely love Manchester United. And you should already know that based on last year's series. But this year, EA are making it really, really hard to upgrade teams. But today we are going to make some massive changes to this account. Just like Manchester United are in real life, getting rid of Eric Ten Hag and bringing in Ruben Amory. We are going to complete some absolutely insane Evos, open multiple icon packs, and hopefully pack some of these new Centurions icons and Centurions Bruno Fernandes. And all of this is going to be done within one month of playing FC25. Are you tired of having a terrible team on FC25? Well, today I have a solution for you. Welcome to LootBar.gg, the cheapest place to get your coins. Not only are they 8 to 10% cheaper than other competitors, they're also a lot cheaper than FC points. And on top of that, they also give you 5% extra coins with every order. Also, plenty of creators are using LootBar. LootBar's reviews are also excellent. They also offer a really fast delivery service, getting you your coins within 30 minutes. And make sure when you are buying your coins that you use Vibrant Check out to get an 8% discount. Make sure to go to the pinned comment or the description of this video to get your coins from Loot Bar. Welcome back to the Manchester United RTG guys where we are starting with our foot champs run. You're probably going to see a few foot champs runs in this video. This guy's got a sick team. Let's see if we can win. Oh yeah, also guys, I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same team. Of course, I didn't want to use my coins, so I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same as when you last saw it. This gameplay is bloody torrid. It's absolutely torrid, this gameplay, but I think this dude is going to leave here, isn't he? I think he's going to leave. Paul Drogba is going to be out of here. Yeah, please. Come on. Leave, please. Come on, man. Yes, there we go. As we go into game number five, guys, we are currently 4-0, but the game Gameplay is absolutely stinking, and we cannot see this guy's team. But he's got an absolutely amazing team. Alexia Putalas, he's got Mendy, Son, oh dearie me. Oh, Rashford! Oh, what a goal, man! Oh, I should go back for him. Oh, man, this guy's really good. He's really good. Like, fair play. Go on, Marcus. Go on, Marcus! Yes, man, he is carrying me this weekend so far. Made a big mistake, guys. Come on, Garnacho, please. Yes, that's a great, great finish, man. Oh, such a jarring goal to concede. Okay. I don't know how it's 3 free, free, guys. I feel a bit robbed in this game. I don't know what I'm seeing, guys. I, I, honestly, this is disgusting. Uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Come on, Hoyland, please, man. Please. No, no, Hoyland's getting discarded. I cannot believe it! Right then, dude, you're going to notice that you didn't see the last few games of Champs because I was playing like four in the morning, but we did manage to get a rank three, which is actually not too bad, I guess. It's a bit of a downgrade on last week, but I'm still happy with it. And from this, we're going to get two Team of the Week player packs. Now, these are always stinky. The only kind of player that you can get that's any good in this is Graham Hansen. It's going to be Bunny Shaw, to be fair, which is actually not too bad. She sells for like 20,000 coins. We will take it and then discard both of them. Here comes the second one. I'm not really expecting a lot from this one either, if I'm being honest. Whoever that is is a monster of a man, but it is not a walkout, so we don't really care. Once again, all three of these are going in the bin. Oh, yeah, we also went 5-0 and in qualifiers, so we've got an 85-plus pack here. It's not going to be a walkout. It's going to be a goalkeeper. Oh, I don't really care. Here is my 82 by 20, and that is why I've opened that first, because it's not even a walkout. It's going to be Palinia. Well, we've got Denzel Dumfries in there and also Virginia, so it's not that bad, really, but not not really what I'm looking for overall. We've also got an 87 by 2. Now, this can't really be anything good for us, sadly. I should really hold these. That's going to be Griezmann, isn't it? Wow. That's actually not bad. He's nearly played for Manchester United. He used to get linked to them all the time. And if you guys want like a what if episode, if Griezmann did sign, we've got Pop in there as well, which is nice. We could do that and that could be quite a cool episode. We've then got an 83 by 10. I just want to see a walkout. Yeah, I just want to see a walkout. Yes, it is. Sadly, no Sabitzer here, but that is going to be Granite Xhaka, so it doesn't really matter. Oh man, that's stinking. Once again, this is going to be terrible, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, guys, at least Rafinha's got some value. We'll quickly sell him. And also, we're going to do... What are we going to do with Pavlidis? I don't know. Throw him in the bin. Throw him in the bin. And then we've also got a base hero pack. I'm looking for Oligana Solskjaer or Jisung Park out of this. It's not a walkout. What? Sorry? Oh, my God. Who is this? Is this Landon Donovan? No, it's Dempsey in it. Oh, my God, man. Today is a great day, guys, because Manchester United have finally sacked Baldy. Someone cooked here. Ruben Amarin is meant to be coming in to replace him, and Manuel Ugarte has got a special showdown card in FC25. We also have some more Evos to work on, and the first one is going to be Anthony for 50,000 coins. Yeah, I know this one stinks a little bit, but Anthony was so good last year for me that hopefully we can make him good again this year. The next Evo is going to be called Slow It Down, where we're going to be putting Harry Maguire through it. Yeah, I know. 
I know, it's not going to work very well, but Harry Maguire is going to go into that. If I can be bothered to get it done, I will get it done. And these are currently all the Evos I've got to be working on, and there is an awful lot of them here to do. EA also released a party bag SBC, so we're going to try our luck here for Cristiano Ronaldo, Diogo Dallo, or Sabitza. And here it goes then, guys. Can we get... No, we cannot. Can it be Van der Beek? No, it's going to be a walkout left back. It's DeMarco, who's one of my favourite players on the game. That's actually a really, really good pull, but sadly... We cannot use him. So he's going to be fodder for the next pack that we are going to do, which is going to be the Icon pack. All right, guys, here it is. A very big risk to take on this road to glory, but let's see if we can get a Man United Icon. Knowing my luck, this will either be Gareth Bale or another Roy Keane. I want skulls on the Man United. It's really Rio Ferdinand, I believe, is in this. So is Rooney. It is going to be Laudra. Mm, could have been Schmeichel. No, he's 89 rated, actually. So it couldn't have been him. This absolutely stinks, man. All right, guys, it is time for our next champs run. And we can't see this guy's team, and our team is exactly the same as last time. Come on, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Yo, Rashford. Nice. I can't believe that, guys. I feel like I'm in the way of that Grinchy, you know. How? Come on, Rashford. <laughs> oh, we're going to score again, guys. If we win this, it is going to be hella jammy. I can't lie. Come on, Rashford. Please, yes, come on, our first good goal in this game. Let's go. He's surely not leaving. He surely can't be leaving. Wow, he was a sick player as well. That's a good game to win. And guys, just before we get into the fifth game, I think it's important that we do this. We quickly discard Eric Ten Hag, and that did rhyme, and he is going to go in the bin. <laughs> and then we are going to bring in the one, the only, Ruben Amarin, and he is going to be our new manager. This is now game five, guys, and we are currently three on one. And let me tell you something. For man, I need to get these Evos done because this team is terrible now. Would it not be one nil? That's going to be one nil. Yeah, come on. Oh, that's lovely. Yes, Ollie. Great finish. We've got a rage quit in this game, guys, which is just absolutely amazing. Well, at least I think we do. Do we have a rage quit? Maybe we don't. Yes, we do. Let's go. All right, then, guys. This is actually game number 10, and we are currently 8 and 1, which I'm really, really happy with. Oh, Marcus. Yes, lovely. Come on, Marcus. Yeah, man. He is my favorite player on FC25. Good ball. Come on in, Marcus. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. What a goal. What a new guy, eh? Oh, he's won the header, too. Marcus Rashford is going to get a hat trick in this game. What the f hell was that for a scoop turn? Jesus Christ. Ooh, that's going to be a goal back, isn't it? Yeah, that's a, that's a decent goal, I guess. Well, GG's, guys. This was a really, really hard-fought victory, and that puts us 9-1. and one, So, hopefully, the rank 3 is on now. Well, guys, I expected to be bringing you back to a rank two game, but we choked massively. This team just is not good enough, sadly. So we've had to end with a rank three. Let's go and open our rewards and see if we can get blessed. First of all, we've got the team of the week packs, and both of these are probably going to be discards. The second one also isn't a walkout, so we've got another discard here. We've then got an 82 by 20. Can it be a walkout for us? Nope. Oh, my God. We've then got an 83 by 10. Can we also not get a walkout out of this? No, we are going to get one. It's going to be a striker. Polish It's going to be Pajor, which is okay. I'm hoping this is a double walkout as well. But I've got a feeling, with my luck on this account, it's not going to be. It's McAllister, so it doesn't really count. We've then got 87 by 2. It's not going to be a Trailblazers. It does look like it is going to be a woman. Centre, that's Bon Matty. That's Bon Matty, isn't it? Wow. Oh my god, man. That is definitely, definitely Bon Matty. <laughs> Why? Why me, man? Come on, show her. Show her, please. Is it Bon Matty? Yeah, 91 rated Bon Matty, who is absolutely useless for us. And then a base hero pack. Can we get Ole Gunnar Solskjaer? That doesn't look like Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, does it? It's going to be a Cam. It's going to be a Bele Pele. Oh my god, man. That's also a really, really good pull, isn't it? It's a really, really good pull. But once again, he is useless for us on this account. Man, I bet he's worth a lot. Let's take a look. Yeah, man. He's 800,000 coins, for God's sake. All right, guys, so I've actually started working on Evolutions, and we have got Lenny Oro done via Rush, and he's up to an 82. It's already 82 rated, but he's gained an awful lot of passing and dribbling. But the main reason I wanted to bring you back and also get Lenny Oro done is because I believe he fits into this, but he doesn't. Oh. Oh, guys, I thought we could double Evo him into this, man. He's got more than 77 balance. That is tough. Come on, man. He's got 79 balance. That is so annoying. Regardless of that, 
though, guys, we do have someone for Brilliant Bomb Pastor, and I'm really, really quite happy about this. Diogo Dallo doesn't fit. Danny Blint does fit, and he doesn't look bad after the upgrade, but that is not who we're going for. We're going to scroll down here, and finally, 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 we're going to be able to upgrade Masrawi. And look at how good he looks once he's completed. We've finally, finally got a good fullback other than Diogo Dallo now as well. I'm completing him. I'm going to go into Rivals. I'm not going to show you Rivals, but I'm going to go and get him completed in Rivals. A few moments later. All right, guys, it is now Saturday, and there is an awful lot to update you on, including Centurions Team 1, including four icons that are Manchester United past and present, and also Centurions Bruno Fernandes. And not only that, we've got Division Rival Rewards, and not only that, we've got these Ballon d'Or players. Now, I'm going to use these. I don't care, man. I'm at a handicap if I don't use them, and... Yeah, I no Mbappe. It's the first time I've not seen Mbappe. I think I'm going to go for Erling Haaland. I know that's crazy, but I feel like he is the best play. I would really, really like Lauren James in here, please. Lauren James, Lauren James, Lauren James. No, Lauren James. Ugh. Hanson. Oh, I don't know who to take. Oh, my midfield stinks. No, I'm going to take Salma. There we go. That's what we're going to take there, guys. And we're going to be using both of them in our champs run. But now it's time to see if we can get anything good out of our player picks. I'd really like an Edwin van der Sar if it's going. It obviously isn't going because we've got Buchanan. Okay, here comes the second one. Can we get anything good out of this one, please? Oh, man, that's terrible. We've also got a 75 by 30 from playing rivals out. It's not going to be a walkout, which is really, really annoying. Let's see what we actually do have in here. Oh, dear. We've also got a 75 by 40, please, man. Oh. Why? Is that not even a walkout? Oh my god. I mean, there's two informs in there, guys. But what I would say here is this is exactly why you don't play rivals on this game. Like, what the hell? I've also got some other packs here, but most of them are stinky. And I'm not really too bothered about opening them just yet. We have also got to talk about Evos, guys. I only need one more segment for Anthony up to the 81. But we've got Masrawi done. And this is massive for this account because this card looks awesome. And EA released a pretty damn crazy Evo yesterday. And it is the Ballon d'Or for Bob Matty, and you won't believe who fits into this, guys, but I'm definitely, definitely doing it. It's going to be Marcus Rashford. He gets a big boost here. Now, you can take him up from the 81 version gold card up to this, but of course, I've already got an Evo, and he's my favourite player in my team, so we're going to commit to that, and Marcus Rashford will get upgraded eventually, but for right now, I'm going to go get qualified for champs. Guys, I've had an absolute stinker. My mic has been muted and we've been doing a few things on the account. So as you can see, this is the team that we are using for foot champs. We are qualified for foot champs and we're currently already 4-0. So this is now the fifth game. Let's get into it and see if we can win with this team. If you guys are upset that I'm using the Ballon d'Or players, please don't because everybody is using them no matter what. I need them in my team. Oh, someone hell of a good pass. Haaland. Haaland should be scoring now. Oh, what a finish. Yes, Erling. Yes, Erling. Yes, Erling. It's 2-0, guys. Come on. Come on, Haaland. That's got to be a goal. Yeah. Oh, my. What a hit. Rashford. Yeah, game over. GG's 4-0, and that is the end of this game. Here is game 10, guys. We're currently 9-0. 1-0 down, lads. 1-0 down. Fair enough. Oh, uh, dear. 2-0 down, man. Of course, of course, of course. I think that's me done, guys. I think that's me done with this game. Uh, I'll bring you back for whatever the record is. Oh, dear, guys. And this is uh, this is why this game sucks. This is why this game sucks. I don't know if you can tell what's happening here. I don't know if you can tell what's happening here. Oh, my gods. If I get the loss for that, I'm going to get the loss for that, aren't I? I didn't get the loss for it. But did you see that guy cheating? That was crazy. Well, would you look at this, guys? Five free winners, and this is actually a pro player. So, the game we lost was against a pro. We then went into a PC cheater. Somehow didn't get the loss, which is very nice. And then just beat this guy. And this was such a sweaty game. I did dominate it, as you can see, but we managed to win that. And now, we are 10 and one. And guys, on the back of this loss, this means that we've got another rank three. And uh, yes, uh, oh, it's tough to take at the moment. This this is uh, this is arguably the worst loss I have ever had on this game. So tough. Yeah, we're eleven and three right now. So the rank two is off the cards. I was winning this game as well, and yeah, we lost it at the death, man. Oh my god, guys. Oh. 
And just to rub salt in the wounds, he messaged me and said, you deserve the W, bro. And here we go then, guys. Another rank three, another very disappointing weekend. But we're not going to be done after we do the rewards. I've got a few more things I want to do on the account. I'm a little bit upset, I can't lie. But we're going to push through. Let's get our rewards open. Let's get these team of the weeks out of the way because we know they're going to be stinky. No walkout. Oh, my God. Are you sure? Cam Spain. La Liga. Who is this? Anyone good? I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Who is it going to be? Barcelona. Danny Olmo? That's not too bad, I guess. 86 rated. We'll take it. Here is the second team of the week pack. Come on, give me another walkout. It'll be nice, actually. It actually is as well, you know. It's going to be another Danny Olmo, to be fair. So it's a bit stinky. 87 by 2. It's not going to be a Centurions or a Centurions icon. The pack weight on this game is horrifying, by the way. It's going to be Martin Odegaard, which is okay. Of course, has to be a double walkout as well. So who else have we got in here with him? Beth me. We've then got 82 by 20. It's not going to be a Centurions. It is going to be a walkout, which is okay, I guess. It's going to be Virgil van Dijk, isn't it? Yep. It has to be Virgil. Oh, man. I mean, who cares, really, right? We're only using the Ballon d'Or players one time and one time only. Virgil is now essentially fodder for us. We've then got 83 by 10. Centurions? No, obviously not. It is going to be a walkout, which is okay. CDM. Ah, oh, it's Declan Rice. Let's skip through that and see what else we've got in here, but it's going to be bad, isn't it? We have got Centurions, but he's absolutely terrible. And here is our base hero pack. I'm guessing we're going to get Ginola or something, is my guess. That looks like Zay Roberto. Cam? Never mind. It's not Zay Roberto. It's going to be Landon Donovan. So, terrible rewards yet again, guys. And this is exactly why you should not stress about where you're finishing champs because the rewards are always terrible. As promised, I am not done yet, guys. This is the final squad for the Icon Pack. So we've got that done. Let's go and get this open and see if we can't go and get Paul Skulls. Here goes nothing then. Let's see what we are going to get. It is a man. It is going to be centre back. Oh, no. That is going to be Ronald Koeman, isn't it? It has to be him. Yeah. Oh, I feel like that's not a bad icon to get, but it's a card that literally has no place in our team. It has been a while since I last saw you on this account, guys, but we have got Marcus Rashford up to the 86, and this card is still my favourite on this account, so to get this one is absolutely amazing. Not only that, we have Anthony up to the 81. Now, I also think he fits into another few evolutions, but I have just found out that he wants to leave Manchester United. Another evolution that I am committing to is Hoyland into no pressure. This is a Big, big expense at 100,000 coins, but I actually do think it's really, really worth it. And now it's time for quite a big one. Whilst his evolution isn't very good, the player that does fit into here for us is Lenny Yoro. And this makes this card insanely meta. So we're going to start this one as well. And that is going to be absolutely amazing for us. On top of that as well, I am still searching for the Centurions icons and also Bruno Fernandes Centurions. And we've got all of the Ballon d'Or stuff done. So let's go and get this open shortly and see what we can get. But just before we do go and do that, I have got all of the rush points required, which gives us all of these packs. And also a cheeky player pick, which maybe we could get an icon in, please? No. Oh, man. Unlucky. We'll take Martinez there, though. That's decent. We have got a lot of packs here to open, guys. The first one is a tradable mega pack, and this is from the Ballon d'Or challenge. It's actually going to be a walkout. Centre-back Brazil. Premier League. This is going to be Gabriel. We will take it. He is good fodder for an SPC that I really want to complete. That's actually a really good pack. We've got Kante and Romero in there as well. We have also got a 50k pack from the Ballon d'Or challenge. Can this also be a walkout? No. How predictable. It's going to be a CDM. It's going to be Algeria. So it is going to be Benacer. We've then got an 83 by 2. It's not going to be a special, but it is going to be a walkout. Cam Argentina. So this is going to be Paolo Dybala. We've then got an 84 by 3. It's not going to be a Centurions. It's not going going to be a walkout. Centre back, Germany, it's going to be an 85. And then the last big pack I've got for now is an 84 by 4. It is not going to be a Centurions. It is going to be a walkout at the very least. Right wing, wow. That is also absolutely incredible fodder. I'm really hoping this is also going to be a double walkout. Let's see if it is. What? What a pack that is, guys. Fair play. And the last pack is an 82 by 5. It's not a Centurions. It's not a walkout, which is very, very, very sad. I'm now going to go and grind rivals and go and get these cards upgraded. And then I'll see you for rivals rewards. Here we are then, guys, with our last chance of packing a Centurions icon for the Manchester United squad. And also... Bruno Fernandes with our Division 2 Rivals Rewards. We have got two 84 plus player picks. Can we please get an icon? Edison is good. We'll take that. Of course, these are tradable as well. Here comes the second one. Please, can I have an icon? Please. Oh, no. It's Lobotka. 
Oh, man, I'm going to take Martinez there. That stinks, man. Again. Just before we do go and get the packs as well, guys, look at this card. I am so, so happy with this. That card just looks amazing now. First of all, we have got a Team of the Week player pack. I doubt this is going to be a walkout. It is, actually. That is very surprising. Who is that? Wow. This is actually a Manchester United past and present player. It's going to be Angel Di Maria. He doesn't have a playstyle plus, but the card actually looks really, really good. EA also give us two mega packs here. Guys, I'm not really expecting much from these, if I'm being honest. The first one isn't a walkout. Let's move on. Here comes the second mega pack. I'm not really expecting much from this either. It's not a walkout again, sadly. 75 by 30. Now, we need a walkout here, please. Walkout? No. Oh, it is. Thank God for that. It's going to be a goalkeeper. It's actually going to be... Thibaut Courtois. So that's a really, really decent walkout. He is worth a fair amount of coins. Is it going to be a double? Probably not. It is. It's going to be Callum Glue and Thibaut Courtois in there, which is actually a really, really good tradable pack. And then the 75 by 40. Not a Centurion. So it is a walkout, which is good. Striker, Jamaica. So it's going to be Bunny Shaw. No one really cares at that point, do they? Because she's only 86 rated. Berlin Mendy in there. Is he still worth some coin? Yeah, he is. Jesus Christ. This is the final thing I wanted to complete before we go and build the final team, and that is the Centurions 100 players pack. Here goes nothing then, guys. I want to see a Centurions here. It is. is it Bruno Fernandes? Oh, it's a walkout as well. Be no, it's that crappy little left back that nobody cares about. Oh, man. I really, really wanted Bruno Fernandes, guys, but we're not getting 84 rated. Jesus. So now it is time to build the final squad that I was able to make on this Manchester United Road to Glory in just one month of playing time, of course, with no money spent. This is what the bench is looking like, guys. I really, really like some of the players here on the bench. Specifically, this copy menu. I really hope he fits into another Evo soon. But let's build the team, starting off with the goalkeeper. It is going to be Andre Onana. I actually think he's really good on this game, but I nearly have enough coins to be able to afford Peter Schmeichel. And as soon as I do have the coins to afford him, I'll be pulling the trigger and bringing him into the team. Our right back is going to be one of the best players in the team. And as you can see, we did also complete Darmian, but it's going to be Masrawi. What an Evo. How lucky were we to get him upgraded? That card is awesome in game. And I'm really, really happy with him. Our left back, you probably did see him, is going to be Mr. Inconsistent himself in Diogo Dallo and he's very good on this game as well we're very very lucky to have two awesome fullbacks in our team our left centre back is going to be none other than Rafael Varane doesn't get a lot of chemistry in this team but he is so so crucial because he's super duper meta in game that we need to have him our right centre back is actually going to be one of my favourite players in the team what a great Evo this is guys Lenny Oro look at how good this card is good pace great passing insanely good dribbling very good defending the physical and that makes up the back line as we move on to the midfield now guys starting off at right midfield we have got alejandro garnacho very very selfish in real life but i do love this boy an awful awful lot we paid 356,000 coins for him he's currently trading about 530,000 coins so this was a great pickup anyway and he is one of the best players in the team 100 percent our left mid is going to be none other now than marcus rashford this evo is just something else isn't it guys i mean wow what a card that is super duper happy to have got him and he is probably the best player in the team as we move on to the two central midfielders the first one is going to be mamo yagate of course upgraded to the 85 due to the draw with chelsea and he's awesome in game as well and in the right center mid you probably did see him this card is arguably better than his centurions because of the long ball pass plus bruno fernandez is insane on this game and he's so cheap you guys really, really should get this card if you are struggling in your midfield. That does make up the midfield, and it's so, so good. Now, as we do move on to the attack, guys, I've actually purchased a player up front here, and it's a bit of a dodgy purchase, but I am still very, very happy to bring him into the team. And that is going to be Rude Van Nistelrooy. Now, of course, doesn't have the best card in the world. He's 220,000 coins. But I think this card has got great shooting and that is enough to sell me on this card. So we purchased him and he's actually fresh as well. So I don't think I'm going to be selling him. And then the right striker is going to be one of the most meta cards in the team yet again. And that is Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. And that is how the team sets up, guys. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss a video. But guys, that's going to be it from me for now. So take care.